abundant energy in harmony with nature. Energy efficiency, 80% consumption reduction by Larry Hartweg, Zed Master at ZeroEnergyDesign.com. Suppose you order an extra large pizza. You pay the full amount, but they only give you a small slice that's less than 20% of what you paid for. That is exactly what is happening with the vast majority of energy consumed today that is wasted unproductively. Inefficient, useless energy consumption, avoidable waste of resources and money, is more than 80% of the energy we produce today. It provides needless damage to Earth's environment and high pollution, and only a small portion is delivered as productive energy usage. For example, 86% of gasoline is useless heat, not motion in vehicles. 90% of incandescent lighting produces useless heat, not light. Most of our air conditioning energy is lost in superheated attics, through windows, and leaky doors. Clothes dryers, fireplaces, and powered exhaust vents suck conditioned air outside. Most of zero energy design is simply superior energy efficiency. Eliminating energy bills is not hard to do. It's just very different from traditional inefficiency. We need a conservation transformation. The only reason for our modern energy crisis is endless dogmatic repetition of extremely bad energy habits. We have been doing terribly stupid things for so very long that they seem like the only available option to mediocre business as usual minds. The solution involves better education of consumers, suppliers, and politicians that have been badly corrupted by self-serving energy lobbyists. Eighty-six percent of the fuel consumed by internal combustion engines is converted to wasted, useless heat. Biofuels are a bad attempt to preserve obsolete internal combustion engines. Importing unstable, expensive foreign oil and making biofuel from food crops for inefficient internal combustion engines are both terribly stupid ideas. Electric motors are more powerful, more efficient, and cost much less than petroleum-powered engines and are far less expensive to maintain. 80% of the BTU energy that goes into electricity generation, transmission, and distribution is wasted uselessly on the equipment, heat loss, resistance, induction, and insulation losses. There's also, in addition to that, a high loss to produce and deliver the fuel. Rooftop photovoltaic or local windmill electricity generation from free, clean sunshine and wind eliminate terrible electricity losses. After electricity is inefficiently delivered to consumers, an additional 90% of it is wasted uselessly on inefficient incandescent lighting system heat generation. 80% is lost for generation and transmission, plus an additional 90% loss for heat means that only 2% of the BTU energy that goes into producing electricity produces useful light. The 1879 inefficient incandescent light bulb generates enough waste heat to bake a cake. It increases summer air conditioning bills. The United States Energy Independence and Security Act was signed into law December 19, 2007. It phases out bad incandescent lighting in government buildings by 2010. And it makes it illegal to sell incandescent light bulbs in America by 2020. Why wait until you are forced to do the right thing? Stop buying stupid incandescent light bulbs today. It will be like eliminating 80 continuous operation base coal-fired power plants. It will lower utility bills by $18 billion per year and reduce the environmental damage of 158 million tons of air pollution each year. Most mediocre minds cannot understand the simple mathematics of modern lighting systems. Over a five-year period, using one light for 8,000 hours, 
the total cost for 125-year-old incandescent lighting technology would be over $100. For a modern compact fluorescent light, it would be about $19. When we consider the cost of one bulb for fluorescent lighting versus seven or eight bulbs for incandescent lighting, plus the electric power for the lighting itself and the electric power for air conditioning, the cost savings would be about 81%. Learning entities eliminated all incandescent light bulbs long ago, but non-learning entities still go to the store, look at the lower price of the incandescent bulb, and buy it instead of the much lower cost fluorescent lighting. For this reason, our federal government had to pass laws to force mediocre minds to do the right thing. Buildings waste far more energy than transportation or industry. This chart shows the typical annual home energy consumption, including electricity, natural gas, heating oil, coal, wood, etc. 70 to 90 percent of home energy consumption is being wasted uselessly. Heating and cooling is about 45 percent on average, and in some places like Florida, it's over 60 percent of the utility bill. Changing temperature is typically the most expensive thing we do with inefficient energy consumption. Achieving the goal of zero energy consumption requires many different things. No single element solves all of the problems, not even photovoltaic systems. All energy consumption components must be well engineered and integrated holistically. There are over 1,000 different ways to save energy in American homes. To achieve our goal of abundant energy in harmony with nature, we must have superior energy efficiency with at least an 80% consumption reduction. We discuss many details on our websites, zeroenergydesign.com and passivesolarenergy.info.